This process normally takes two years, but we only had about two months. So if we were gonna uh, put sand back on the beach before the crabs started spawning. If we lost 70% of the crab spawn habitat, then that meant we would have about a 70% loss of, of horseshoe crab eggs uh, just at the time when the shorebirds are coming in from their South American wintering areas. The shorebirds don't know all this is happening. They're down in South America. They arrive and either the crabs have laid eggs or they haven't, and if they haven't, and the shorebirds will uh, do their best to build up weight, but they won't be able to. So then they, leave, they have to go to the Arctic to breed. So that means they're gonna leave unprepared. It, it'll either die and root, or it'll get to the Arctic and it won't breed because it doesn't have enough resources to draw on once it gets to the Arctic. I'm very hopeful. I, I'm, uh, inspired actually because we we feel like we uh, successfully recreated a uh, superior horseshoe crab beach and I think that's probably the strongest reason because it's important to the people of Delaware Bay that there's a robust crab population because they produce so many eggs and those eggs create so many young crabs that it underpins a lot of the productivity of the bay